In this presentation we're going to sketch the graph and find the Laplace transform of the following function. f of t is 0 when t is less than 2 and t minus 2 when t is greater than or equal to 2. So, straightforward enough, uh, let's sketch it first off. Uh, essentially what we're going to do to sketch it is we know that between t equals 2 and t equals 0, by the way the function is defined uh, for t greater than or equal to 0 altogether. Uh, between t equals 0 and t equals 2 it's just 0. Okay, so it's just a flat line down there. And at t greater than or equal to 2 over here it takes the form t minus 2. So at f of 3 it's 1. Okay, so it's 1 here. And at f of 2 it's 4 and at f of 3 it would be 5 and so on. So essentially you sort of give a bit of a clue that it's a straight line, a 45 degree line essentially. So just a couple of, uh, uh, just ch trying out a few points you would get the idea of what the curve would look like. You probably had like would sort of be realised it might, was going to end up something like that anyway. So find the Laplace transform. The first thing we're going to mention is that it's on, the function is only really active, it's non-zero between t greater than, or t uh, equals 2 uh, to infinity. So it's only uh, active in this region here, sorry, uh, t, t greater than or equal to 2 and upwards. So this is where we would use the Heaviside step function. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do is take the starting point and get the uh, step function for that, u of 2, and the finishing point here is going to be u of infinity because it goes all the way up to infinity and so the fu the function is active uh, between those two points u of 2 and u of infinity and multiply that by the function itself okay so it, it, we have an expression here for the function that doesn't rely on using cases okay like the what we had originally this is just to sort of give you an example of cases this is ex what they call cases here so we've simplified this function that function there using the Heaviside step function to get something like this. Now I've written it out over two lines because this is a multiplication sign so it's actually this is the first line, this is the first part of the function but it just continues on where I multiply it by t minus 2. Okay, just for, just to make it a bit more legible. It's actually should be one line really. Uh, just as a sort of quick remark actually, something I'm just going to repeat actually, u of infinity is 0 so that is going to go to zero there. So what we could say is, sorry, here I go again, Heaviside function, uh, it is uh, only active between points uh, t equals 2 and t equals infinity. So we use the Heaviside step function, multiply your your main function by this, where a is the starting point, b is the finishing point of the function. Here it's 2 and infinity. So that's the Heaviside step function. Uh, just a couple of remarks, u of 0 is 1 and u of infinity is 0. Okay, so the function can be rewritten as u2 times t minus 2 minus u of infinity times t minus 2. And as started, we said earlier, that u of infinity means that whole thing there can go to 0. So essentially we're just left with this part over here, u2, u of 2 times t minus 2. Okay, now I'm just going to scroll down here for a second. What we have here is a uh, from the tables. This is from the Laplace transform tables. Uh, f of t minus a times u of a t, uh, u of a of t is kind of, that the Laplace transform. If the if the function of t is in this sort of form here, this is the equivalent of the Laplace transform. So what we're going to sort of say that's essentially the game plan here. So let's go down to my next f of t minus. This is our part f of t minus a or f of t minus 2, so necessarily a is going to be 2, and that is t minus 2, to, uh, what we're going to do is replace that with f of t, or so to determine what f of t is, f of t necessarily is replace t minus 2 with t, so you just get t. The Laplace transform of f of t, we denote capital F of s, and in this case the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared okay so now we can just piece it all together f of t uh, so this is e to the minus a s times f of s 
Here we know that e a a we just said a second ago was two. So the uh, e to the minus two s times f of s that's one over s squared. Okay. So the answer is e to the minus two s over s squared. So uh, key things there were the Heaviside function and how to use it. Okay, for uh, limited duration functions. Okay. All right, that's it.